If you really want to know where the beef is, it's right here. Welcome to Unified.tv, where truth has no fear. I'm breaking down. Well, actually, I'm not going to break it down. I'm just going to talk about really quick the beef between Candace Owens and Kimberly Clayson. I'm not going to get into the details of the situation because I don't know all the details personally. Do I trust Candace's word? I personally believe that she's proven herself to be a very trustworthy woman. But I'm not going to get into the drama of it because it's not my business. Do I respect what Candace is doing? Do I think it's a good thing to expose as many people that need to be exposed, especially the ones that we believe are on the right, on the conservative movement, doing good for the conservative movement? If there is anyone that needs to be exposed, whether you're uh, Candace Owens doing it, whether you're Brandon Tatum doing it, whether you're ABL doing it, whether you're uh, Project Veritas doing it. If someone needs to be exposed, then let the exposing begin. Because we all know that the left is going to do everything they can to expose everyone on the right. They're going to want to expose every conservative. They're going to want to expose every conservative politician. They keep trying to expose Trump and there's nothing to expose. My point is this. If Kimberly Clasic is, in fact, a rhino, as people say, or if she's shady in any way at all, and, you know, we're not talking about anyone's past. We've all, we all have a past. We all have things that we are not proud of. We all have done things that would be uh, socially and in the public eye uh, ridiculous, uh, arrestable in some cases, uh, just flat out wrong. So I'm not judging anyone's past, but if this past is recent, if you're still doing shady things, then expose, expose, expose. Let everything come to the surface because when things do shape up in this country, which they will, you're not going to want leftovers. Most people don't like leftovers. Most people want to get it out of the way, get that meal, get that whole thing out of the way. You don't want to go back in that refrigerator for that cold chicken or turkey. You want all that turkey to be gone. You want to eat as much as you're satisfied with and probably get rid of the rest or never have to look at it again. We don't want leftovers in this fight. This fight is about exposure. That's what last year was all about. That's what this year is all about. You don't want to have to do anything. You want everybody to be exposed. You want everything to be out in the open. And you want to know exactly who and what you're dealing with as quick as possible. So if what Candace Owens is saying and what she found to be very much true, then that's great. That's great. What I have a problem with is that people are looking at their quote unquote beef as a problem within a conservative community and within the black community. This has nothing to do with race. This has nothing to do with the conservative movement. It does a little bit have to do with politics, but it's mainly a moral issue. It's, a, it's an issue of who are you? What, is, what are your real intentions? Who are you truly rubbing elbows with? So it wouldn't matter if Kimberly Clasic was a friend of ours. This, if she is doing something that's shady and we see her to be one thing and she could possibly do damage from us believing who she claims to be, then let it all out. Do what you got to do. Now, I think a lot of people only have a problem because they don't like Candace Owens. You can, have, you can feel the way you want to feel about anyone you choose to not like or like, whatever. There are plenty of conservatives in this fight that I don't agree with most of what they say. There are some conservatives in this fight that I flat out don't like. But what is the bigger picture? The bigger picture is what their intentions are, where their heart is. What, do they practice what they preach? That is what the biggest picture is. There's a lot of people that don't like me. I don't have that much of a name for myself. I have some truly strong and uh, passionate and loyal people that follow me. And I thank God for each and every one of you. But as far as having a name for myself, I'm getting there, but I'm not there yet. So it really doesn't matter who doesn't like me at this point. It's really not even going to matter when I get to where I'm going. The point is, is that I'm not saying I don't like certain people to say that it matters who I don't like. I'm saying that you're not going to agree with anything and everything that someone says 100% of the time. And that's truly fine. That's okay. But don't, as they say, throw the baby out with the bathwater. Candace Owens has always proven herself to be very much credible. She's not one of those people that just goes out and says what she wants to say, goes on a long rant and just says, believe what I have to say, because I can talk loud and fast and I can ram it down your throat and you're not going to have a chance to have a rebuttal. So believe what I have to say. That's not what she does. She brings facts to the table. That's why I respect people like her. That's why I respect people like Anthony Brian Logan. That's why I respect people who do their research like Charlie Kirk. Do their research and say, look, I'm not 
I, this is this is how I feel, but this is why I feel how I feel, and this is what the facts are, where or how I gathered my feelings on this subject. So, <clears throat> until we can say that Candace is wrong, until we can prove otherwise, until it's found that the stuff that she dug up is fake, which I don't think it is, but like I said, I'm not going to dissect that. I believe that there's something shady going on on the part of Kimberly Clayson. I'm just going to leave it at that. So let's not focus on the black against black because that's not even what it's about. Let's not focus at two conservatives fighting each other because that's not what it's about. Let's look at the exposure. And let's also look at how many other people need to be exposed. Exposure is a good thing. So let's appreciate what just happened and keep our eyes peeled for more because there's always more. Oh,